Glad you could stay on the program. Let's do some politics now. The General Secretary of the NDC, John Sinesir Nketiah, is challenging the majority leader to point him to the law barring him from holding a position on the Parliamentary Service Board. Osei Chairman Sabonso accused the NDC's General Secretary of turning Parliament into an extension of his party. What was NDC before Bagwin came? Uh, what was Parliament before Bagwin came? If you are talking about turning something into another state, mm. you should be interested in knowing the, the original state of that, that, that institution. Before Bagwin came, what was Parliament? Was it an enclave of MPP? Was it? And I'm asking him, he should be answering that question because the speaker was MPP. The former uh, members of parliament who should serve on the parliamentary board were from MPP mm. leadership, okay? Mm. And I don't want to believe that the workers and the advisors of the speaker at that time were CPP. <laughs> you understand? So if they were all MPP at that time, and now you have another speaker, I am wondering whether Mr. Chairman Sambuzu was expecting Bagbin to appoint his opponents to advise him. Mm. You are talking about advisors. People choose their advisors. How come that? Do you know that the Council of State is there to advise the president? Mm -hmm. The immediate, uh, the, the current Council of State. It was constituted some one month ago. Mention one person who was nominated from NDC. Was there any one of them? The president was choosing his advisors, so he decided to choose MPP people. Mm. But so he... I'm, 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 I'm worried about people who cannot use parity of reasoning. OK? They, 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 when something suits them, they argue in a certain way. They argue that this paper is white. Then the next day, the, the, the same people will be arguing that this paper is black or blue. That is not the way to build credibility. OK? So I expected, I didn't expect Jameson Sambonsu, who was all over the place. When we were uh, accusing the president of nepotism in his appointment and so on, Jameson was all over the place saying that, did we expect the president to appoint his enemies as ministers? Mm. So what has changed? Don't expect to appoint his enemies as ministers and his advisors. Why do you want to expect Bagman to appoint his enemies or opponents as his advisors? But advisor? for him, as a certain general secretary, yes. uh, to be appointed onto that board, uh -huh. for him, it poses a certain form of danger uh, for parliament. Uh, at least there are other uh, who said that parliament is run on the fears of chairman sambonsu parliament is run according to the law mm. you are keep you are having their uh, standing copies of the standing order he should be quoting and telling us maybe the constitution is against this maybe the standing orders is against this but what he's saying he's not communicating to anybody mm. he's just expressing his fears but unfortunately parliament is not run on the basis of the fears of chairman sambonsu it's run on it's the law. Okay it's run on the law. Okay, so it's okay because you're a former MP. Don't ask me. Go and ask Bagbin. Okay. Okay, I didn't appoint myself. Mm. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Uh -huh. So you go and ask the person who took the decision whether his decision was founded on law or was not founded on law. But I don't have any. Also. I don't have any business answering. It's like if I were to appear before appointments committee and you are asking me why the president decided to appoint me and not another person else. How would I know how the president was thinking when he decided to settle on me? Mm. Okay, so, but the good thing I like about the interview is that at least he recognizes my level of intelligence. He recognizes my experience because I was in parliament four years before he came mm -hmm. and I did 12 years in parliament. People who have done eight years in parliament have served on the parliamentary service board. I've been 12 years in parliament. I've been in, uh, in the front bench of parliament, uh, uh, front uh, bench in government in parliament. 
backbench in government in parliament, mm. front bench in opposition in parliament, backbench in opposition in parliament, and I have chaired several parliamentary uh, meetings, and I have chaired uh, board of, board of state institutions. So I don't know so what else. <laughs> I don't know what else they, 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 they expect. But the good thing about the interview is that, well, as I, I've said, it came to uh, clear the air, you know, about the some orchestrations that were cooking. That uh, maybe I said Nketia has changed this position. Mm -hmm for uh, uh, you know, the approval of ministers and so on. To tell you what, this appointment was offered to me as far back as January. Okay. Before the, the nomination yeah, of ministers? Before the nomination of ministers, it was offered to me as far back as January. Mm -hmm. Because parliament and its institutions had to be constituted to prepare to receive and vet ministers. So it was around that time that this appointment was offered to me. And immediately it came, I responded and gave my, my uh, consent. Okay. Then there was uh, some lacuna for a very long time. I want to ask what was happening. And I was told that uh, <laughs> MPP was objecting to that appointment. So that was why it was well, What reason were they given for rejection of that point? And that was on the probe. You can watch the full edition on our YouTube channel. This is News Desk with me, Bernice Abubedulan. So when I come back today, we are flipping the script. George Ado Jr. is here. We'll be doing sports next. <laughs>